Welcome back to Leftovers with Annie. I am your host, Annie. And remember, each week I have a mystery product in this bag that I need to figure out how to use in my home. And don't forget, click that subscribe button so you're not missing out on any of these projects. Let's take a look and see what we have in the bag this week. We have Magnolia Home by Joanna Gaines. It looks like we have Together, and there's not a lot in here, and we have Clean Lines. Ooh, I can't wait to see what that looks like. Let's open them up. Ooh, look at that beautiful gray green. Ooh, look at that beautiful blue rich color. I have a plain white dresser that I think I will have enough paint in here to paint the whole thing. And this is such a great complimentary color. I would love to put a pattern on the top of the dresser to bring it back to life. Here is my plain white dresser that I'm going to transform using that leftover paint. Before we begin, I'm gonna make sure that everything is out of the dresser. I'm going to continue removing the hardware. I'm gonna grab my sanding sponge to make sure the primer sticks to the dresser. And then I'm gonna break out that Magnolia Home paint. I'm gonna paint everything. And I found stencils in my workshop that I've been wanting to use. I think these would be great accents to this dresser. Let's jump in. This is a medium grit sand sponge. I don't wanna do a lot of sanding, just enough to rough the surface up so the paint sticks to it. Make sure to use a circular motion. After you're done sanding, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to use a dry cloth to make sure you get all that leftover sanding grit off your piece. Let's get priming. These size rollers are perfect for any small project including this dresser. I really like this color. My dresser is painted and it's dry. My next step is to put these fun stencils on. I think I'm going to start putting the stencils on on the top and then I'm gonna put some of the smaller ones on the side so it kind of drapes down. And I'm going to use the yellow delicate tape because I just painted the surface and I don't want the paint to come up when I peel off the tape from the stencil. This is a perfect time to switch out new hardware. Between the paint, the stencils, and the hardware, this is a brand new, beautiful piece. I took that plain white dresser from boring to beautiful. The hardest part of that project was trying to figure out where to put it to show it off. I'd love to see if you do this project at home. So if you do, tag us and use the hashtag, The Hopeful Place. Keep watching to learn how I use magnetic paint on the wall. Yes, magnetic paint. See you next week for some more Leftovers with Annie.